Electricity grids around the world are being transformed by new technologies, increasing demand and the need to create a future less reliant on fossil fuel. This transformation has resulted in more renewable energy being incorporated into our electricity grids than ever before, particularly from solar photovoltaic arrays. Renewable energy from solar no longer simply supplements the existing grid, it plays a critical role in supplying reliable electricity to our homes, businesses and workplaces. My name is Jürgen Reinert and I'm the CEO of SMA Solar Technology. This year SMA is celebrating 40 years. Founded in 1981, we are the inventor of string technology and thereby greatly helped introducing photovoltaics as we know it today. My name is Alex Wanners and I am the Chief for System Design at the Australian Energy Market Operator. So Australia at the moment is experiencing the fastest transition of its energy system of any country in the world. Per capita we are installing more renewable energy than any other country. If this speed continues, in about 20 years we will reach well above 90% penetration of renewable energy in Australia. My name is John Cole and I'm the Chief Executive and Founder of Edify Energy. Australia is a bit of a bellwether for the global energy sector in my mind, the issues that are being faced into in this country because we've seen the pace of change already. In 2030, so less than 10 years from now, I envision a world where most of the power is coming from renewables and photovoltaics will have a substantial part of that. So in order to run a system like that, the capability of renewable energy power stations need to be so sophisticated that it can keep the existing system stable and secure. What do we do when the entire network is, is built off power electronics, all generations power electronics, how do we keep it stable? Previously we focused on what the generator was inside the solar farm fence, whereas now it's more about how that solar farm generator interacts with the network from an, a grid stability and electrons perspective. We've seen this pursuit of the lowest cost electron on the network, but maybe that's not the best electron. The energy system is a 50 hertz AC system, and system strength means that the system has the ability to keep the voltage waveform in a stable form, even if they are small or in fact large disturbances. Because that voltage waveform tells all of the plants in the system when they can and can't inject their energy. So if that gets out of sync, it can actually create real, real damage. Our existing electricity supply relies upon spinning turbines in fossil fuel power plants to set the voltage and frequency of the alternating current that powers our towns and cities. But solar farms do not have spinning turbines. They produce electricity as direct current straight from the panel. Solar arrays rely on inverters to convert this direct current into the alternating current that our electricity grids require. Battery systems can be used to further stabilise this electricity output. As more and more solar energy generation comes online, the system strength of the grid must be maintained, regardless of whether electricity comes from turbines, solar farms or batteries. We have, due to our geography and the makeup of our network, really some of the areas with the lowest system strength in the world because they are very far away from traditional sources of these system strength and they are also very far away from major demand centres because that's often where we have some of the best solar resource in the country. So we have to find alternative sources for system strength. There are coal and gas-fired power stations that provide services to keep the grid stable that aren't defined nor are they priced. In the future I believe that we will see definition around them and a market created for them. What we would love to do is actually use the capability of modern inverters to use 21st century technology to ensure that energy gets injected at exactly the right points in time. The true brain of the solar farm and the way it interfaces with the network is the inverter, so that is the heart. You need to make sure that that pit of kit is something that you are very comfortable with performing. We need m much more multifunctional inverters on the network that can help solve a lot of these grid stability problems, particularly in this country. Where we started to work really intensively with SMA was when we uh, tried to find a solution to the West Murray issue. The West Murray zone is an area with absolutely beautiful solar resource, but it is very far away from demand centres, it doesn't have any major generators, so it has very low levels of system strengths. What we discovered after a number of solar farms have 
connected there through some very sophisticated computer simulations that if one of those lines trip, the whole system would start to oscillate and that could have dangerous consequences for a number of users there and it could escalate and have even more catastrophic uh, consequences. We had to constrain the output of these solar farms to a safe level and then we had to find a solution. And I still remember a late night phone call to SMA in Germany where we're talking to their lead engineer and they were saying, oh, yes, we have never seen plants operate in an area with such low system strength, but we have an experimental setting um, that might be helpful. And I thought, oh my God, here we go. <laughs> Doing a major experiment on the national electricity market. Our engineers got together with SMA's engineers and we established a working group to really test whether this experimental setting, as they call it, could work. And in the end, it did it proved to solve the problem and we could release the output of these solar farms and that really solved the issue in the West Murray Zone. We've implemented a firmware upgrade that basically enables us to change the way the inverter operates from a reactive power perspective. You can change the software and through the change in the software you can change the behaviour of the plant and that is exactly what we were able to do together with SMA. I think together we were able to solve a major system security issue and, and frankly also a major commercial issue. With our technology, PV power plants together with storage systems can ensure grid stability and also grid forming. In West Murray we could show how different PV power plants can be controlled by an intelligent software in order to make sure that they jointly form the grid and stabilize the grid. Thereby we have a creation of self-sufficient grids powered entirely by solar energy. We found SMA have been a very good partner with us and, and the majority equity owners in different projects as well. And across a range of manufacturers, they generally performed the best. It was a relatively easy decision to say our first port of call or where we need to go for our inverters is with SMA. Having an inverter manufacturer of SMA's pedigree, um, they definitely passed the bankability test. One of the reasons we chose SMA as an inverter manufacturer and chose their equipment is the heart of the, the power plant is for its longevity. In our research and development, we are focusing on both quality and durability lifetime. For photovoltaics to be sustainable, a long lifetime of the different components has to be ensured. It's, it's your after sales service can beget your next deal as much as your technology and your pricing of your product that's in the market today. For large-scale applications, we are not only providing the commissioning, but also field service whenever that should be needed anywhere in the country. Currently, we are establishing an operation and maintenance team in Australia for those customers who would like that service. We've had people fly out and stay here from Germany for weeks at a time. It's always easier to do things face-to-face -face and in the right time zone. It feels like, Colin, there's a message that's come in um, it's being received in the manner and given the, a, a level, a requisite level of attention and that feels very comforting. SMA is one of the leading manufacturers of inverters globally and um, we were very grateful that they were open to a broad collaboration that helped to constructively solve that issue. SMA is providing solutions for all applications and segments. Today we have more than 100 gigawatt of photovoltaics installed worldwide and more than 3 gigawatts of storage systems. We are unrivaled market leader in utility scale applications in Australia. We're in such a privileged position in this country in that we can electrify virtually everything. I believe solar power plus storage, be that lithium ion or other, will be a very big part of the, the future energy system. And so SMA has a real opportunity to learn, develop solutions for this market and then roll them out in other markets as they start to experience over time the same issues. I think we are going through a massive transition and the only way we can master this transition is through managing the change and using innovation. Renewable energy presents us with exciting opportunities for the future. With growing electrification and the move towards renewable energy across the globe, the strong growth of new solar projects will continue, an unprecedented opportunity to transform our electricity grids. SMA is at the forefront of delivering technology solutions that allow utility-scale solar projects to efficiently integrate with existing electricity grids, enabling the development of reliable and dispatchable electricity generated from solar PV.